My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Beep beep. I was told or I read somewhere that Mopar paid $50,000 to Warner Brothers for the use of that sound for the horn on the Roadrunner. We have got a gorgeous example of a Roadrunner right here. These are the factory born colors. It's a numbers matched 83 Magnum engine. Go to volocars.com. That's where you'll find all the specs, photos top to bottom, pricing on this car and a few hundred other collector cars that are all for sale at volocars.com. But for right now, how about you come with me and we go for a spin in this 1970 Roadrunner. I mean, I have uh, three, 400 cars here and this thing to me just stands out. I just absolutely love the 1970 Roadrunner. These colors are killer. Uh, this is a time where I actually loved the vinyl top, the white against the purple and then of course the white interior and it was all born this way. It has the fender tag which we've decoded. Uh, it's a southern car, very solid. You look at the pictures underneath the car, the frame rails, floors are just really nice, clean, original. Uh, has a number match uh, 383, the VIN number is down by the oil pan. We've cross-referenced the dates and casting codes as well. The body is super straight. I mean, laser straight. I just wiped the car down. I wiped all down low here and it's smooth. There's no bubbles, no rust, just really sharp. They called this Plum Crazy Purple, which it's known as uh, on the Dodge. The Plymouth actually called it In Violet, but it's the same color. It's Plum Crazy as far as I'm concerned. 1970 offers this here, the little Roadrunner. They call it the Dust Trail. And that's a reflective stripe, which I think is really cool. This has the 14-inch rally wheels, which look brand new, and reproduction Goodyear polyglass tires. I think that's a real classy touch. Uh, it has the black uh, hood stripe. The grille is restored. Both bumpers are like show quality chrome plating on the bumpers. Windshield looks new. White vinyl tops, excellent. Door jams are real nice. Weather strips look new. The interior is in excellent shape. It is a bucket seat council car. A lot of road runners were benched with the auto on the column. Uh, the cushions are real good. The upholstery. Everything's very nice inside. There's no rips, no tears. I'd call the interior a good solid eight across the board. Doesn't need any attention. You have a reflective stripe on the back of the car here. The rear window is not new, but it's crystal clear. The molding's real shiny. Trunk compartment's all metal. It's got spatter finish paint. Of course, under here is all glossy, and there is an extra uh, can with uh, the touch-up paint. This is all clear coated. The clear is nice and deep. The metal flake is laid out real nice. Carpet looks new. Armrests look new. We'll start it up in a minute, and of course, I'll demonstrate the horn. That's a cool feature on this car. 383 had 335 horsepower. It's all stock, stock manifolds, air cleaner, uh, valve covers, uh, hose clamps, heater hoses, and all the metal engine bay is really nice and clean. You can see it's all painted purple. Uh, hood insulation, it's got the rubber seal, washer bottle, has power steering and power brakes, they're disc brakes. So why don't we fire it up for you. <clears throat> there you go. You'll have fun with that, everyone wants to hear the horn. Get the right key. Still not the right key, here we go. How's that? Fired right up. A little bit of a high idle, that's what it's supposed to do until it warms up. I just noticed the lights in the council are working. Everything fits, lines up beautifully.
there you have it. I think this car is incredible. Like I was saying earlier, amongst hundreds of awesome cars, beautiful collector cars, I think this stands out. Red is great, but I mean, purple with the white, this is awesome. I think 70 is the best year. It uh, looks like we have a burned out headlight. Every car goes through our shop initially when it comes in, and then when we sell the car, it goes through the shop with a fine tooth comb, and that's where they'll catch some of the little things we missed the first time. So that'll be fixed. Volocars.com, that's the uh, website. Plenty of ways to contact us on there. We have shipping, we have financing. We can help answer all your questions. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's the best way to see these awesome cars first as they come out. So as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for a lot more cool cars.